In order to fully understand the basics of mechanical ventilation, you need to know the equation of motion. The equation of motion just states that on the left side, it's all about the pressure, whether it be the pressure sub-muscle or the pressure sub-vent. So that means this pressure is generated by the patient, this pressure is generated by the ventilator. These pressure, just like our definition earlier of peak inspiratory pressure as the pressure needed to overcome the resistance or compliance of the lungs, that means that the pressure generated here should equal the elastance plus any resistance of the lungs. And again, this compliance or elastance will deal with the opening of the lungs, and then the resistance will depend on the flow being generated to the airways. So an example here is what if the patient is fully sedated and on, uh, it's on volume control, on the controlled mandatory ventilation or CMB. So that means if this is zero, nothing is generated by the patient, and that means there is a certain number or a certain pressure being generated by the ventilator. And that pressure is the pressure needing to overcome the resistance and the compliance of the lungs. As the patient is getting uh, uh, off the ventilator or in the weeding process, and that means the workload of the ventilator, some of them are now being transferred to the patient. So that means there is a certain number of pressure being generated by the patient, and some of them are being generated, a certain number being generated by the ventilator. So these two work hand in hand in order to overcome, again, the resistance or compliance of the lungs. As the patient is being weaned off the ventilator, so let's say they're done with the, the AC mode or the SIMV, and they're now on the CPAP mode, and that means the pressure on the ventilator is now zero, and all of the pressure is now being generated by the patient. And as the patient is breathing through the ventilator, then that means they still need to overcome any compliance issues of the lungs or any resistance of the ET tube, the vent circuit, and the conducting airways.